Hey, it's Mackenzie here from Cedar, and today we're gonna to talk about the typical background and profile of a chief of staff. So there's three different areas in which a chief of staff usually comes from. One might be consulting, the second might be project management or PMO, and the third might be big tech. And we're gonna get into the reasons why these backgrounds make sense. So for the first background, that's consulting. Typically, this consulting experience gives a chief of staff a general business sense that they can draw from. They can be strategic, they understand how to break down problems and be analytical, they know how to manage multiple stakeholders, and they know how to do analysis and present that back to a wider audience. Typically, these folks have interactions with the C-suite and they you know, have presented at that level and don't have any fear and <laughs> know what to do in front of this type of audience. Another aspect of the consulting background that's important is the fact that they can be creative and they can do problem solving. So they understand how to define the problem set and come up with a creative solution to that problem. The second background that we look for is a project management or PMO background. And so this um, can be within the operations realm. Program management and project management can give the chief of staff a really strong operational background. They understand how to create a project plan, how to wrangle resources, how to define outcomes and move a really large complex program or project to completion while being on time and on budget. Typically, you know, this background makes them very cross-functional so that they know how to work with a lot of different people and they can spot risks and blockers, they can define them and surface them to executives, and they can be quite effective in, again, driving towards an outcome and driving towards execution. They can create a rhythm, they can create a cadence of operation, and they really know how to rally a team around a common goal. Finally, the third background that we'd like to see within a chief of staff is a background in the tech industry. Typically, this background gives this resource a broad exposure to tools and processes that save time and you know, can promote other things like collaboration. And so this could be familiarity with Slack, Descript, Asana, basically modern tools that the modern workforce has adopted and uh, they can use those tools and spread their knowledge and implement them in their day-to-day -day work as a chief of staff. Typically, these companies are at the forefront of new ways and processes of working. And so we like to see the chief of staff leverage this type of experience in their work. And then lastly, as a bonus component to this profile, we like to see someone with a really strong EQ. And so what that means is someone who can read people, understand their motivation and background, understand what their needs and wants might be and be able to play to those different audiences depending on whatever cross-functional project that they're trying to complete. So this can show up in multiple different ways. It can show up in the workplace and also can show up outside the workplace. We like to see two different examples of this type of high EQ. So obviously within the workplace, a high EQ story could be that this chief of staff might have worked in an organization with really varied stakeholders and they can describe them at length. One who might be a detractor, one who might be a champion, one who might be neutral. Looking at the chief of staff's background with working with a variety of folks and seeing if they've created like a stakeholder map or even done their own sort of categorization of these resources in their own mind to understand how to best interact with these folks. And then outside of the workplace, it could be that the chief of staff has a humanities background in college. It might be that they work or volunteer for a nonprofit or volunteer organization. It can show up in a multitude of different ways, but we like to see strong EQ, particularly because the chief of staff is dealing with so many stakeholders that are of varying personalities and temperament and they need to be able to context switch between these stakeholders very quickly. So there you have it. Those are three plus a bonus item around the background of the chief of staff. Number one, the consulting background. Number two, project management, program management or operations background. And three, a tech background plus that final dose of strong EQ. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe.